So normally I don't make two videos in one day, but I tell you, I, this is uh, Russia Ukraine updates on Rumble. Um, surprised that I can even show this on YouTube, but I wanted you to notice these new weapons. Uh, I've never seen anything like these before. These are the new Russian uh, uh, light infantry weapons. Um, just an astoundingly uh, impressive. Uh, I mean, look at that. You know, I have watched this. I, I mean, holy moly! These, these, uh, they can carry these uh, on their backs, uh, and, and impressive firepower from these things. It's just amazing. Look at this downrange. Now we're going to get to a clip here in just a minute. You've got to see this. Uh, now he, by the way, is a. Well, I'm going to pause right here. As the M203 uh, Grenadier in the Army, uh, I could have landed a, a grenade right on that uh, target. So the fact that he would missed <laughs> with, with that, uh, almost like a, a Laws rocket, you know, I mean, I, that wasn't too impressive. But right here in this, this section of the video, I didn't even know that small arms had tracer rounds. Um, you know, of course, we've had tracer rounds with our machine guns, because uh, what the tracer round does is it, it, it allows you to zoom in your, um, your focus with the weapon. So let's say I'm firing a machine gun, and I'm trying to hit a target. You can't see where the bullets are going, but once those tracers go downrange, you can adjust the, uh, the angle of the machine gun onto the target that you're trying to destroy. I didn't know that small arms had tracer rounds, so check this out. I thought this was in, in, in insanely incredible. Uh, and that's what they're showing. So now these guys can zero these, uh, these bullets in on whatever targets they are shooting at. Watch this. See that? Those are tracer rounds and small arms fire. I had no idea that things had advanced this far, especially, well, Russia, I don't know. I hope we got the advancement. Um, the second thing was I wanted to point out, here's a Russian military transport. Um, they're delivering um, aid, and in the middle of a war, no less. Uh, everybody wants to hate the Russians. I don't hate them. I don't agree with war. I'm against the war. I'm, I'm definitely against the warmongering Democrats. Uh, that I think they're leading the United States into uh, oblivion. Um, you know, I'm sorry. If you're a Democrat, I just, I got to stand against you. Uh, you're for war. I don't understand it. You're for censorship. You're against the U.S. Constitution. Uh, but anyway, I thought this was very impressive that the Russians are delivering this aid. Uh, now, I'm not sure if this is Turkey or Syria. I would imagine it's Syria at this point because Turkey's getting a lot of aid, uh, from what I understand, from the West. So I'm hoping I'm hoping this is Syria. Now it doesn't say on the video uh, where this aid is actually going. Um, so I just I I pray it's Syria. Syria needs a lot of help, and you know I've given my opinion in the previous video that we need to be helping uh, Syria. Uh, and in and, and the sanctions, but the warmonger Democrats would never do that. Never. So, all right. So anyway, that's, um, that's kind of that video. Just wanted to show you what's going on there. I won't show this video. This is, uh, the WHO wanted to impose uh, new, uh, uh worldwide, uh, restrictions on, uh, all the nations of the world, uh, through the UN. Uh, and this just talks about that uh, Australia, for now, is refusing to obey the WHO. Now, you know that Trump took the United States out of the World Health Organization. And then, of course, the warmongering Democrats, they put us right back into the World Health Organization. So expect to have vaccine passports and all of those things uh, come about in the United States under the Biden administration. Uh, let's get down to... Um, Wow, look at that. Thunder and lightning outside my house. All right, so, oh, this was, uh, no, this is all in Russian. I can't can't show you that. This is just a brief uh, one-minute video from uh, Vladimir Putin, um, and then we'll, we'll finish off the video here in just a second. Hold on. Let's watch this one. We haven't started the hostilities, but we will end them. Those who supported them in 2014 when the coup was carried out. 
a revolution. That's where it all started. True. Kamerian, yeah. But by the way, we violated all those agreements, whether you hate Russia or love them. Now, I kind of want you to see, you know, think about it. Everybody wants to hate on Putin. Yeah, okay, he's an evil dictator. But look, all these uh, Russians are listening to him. They're sitting there with their nameplates in front of them like they're all important, which I imagine they are in Russia. So just pointing that out, whatever, well, for what it's worth. Heavy military equipment. <laughs> Have you seen the numbers of military equipment that the Russia has destroyed in Ukraine? As I did in a previous video, that was an army designed to destroy the Russian Federation. Well, guess what? Uh, it didn't work, and the Russian Federation is more powerful now than they ever were. And if you ever look at the Donbass region, they all speak the Russian language and um, the Ukrainian um, speaking people were trying to exterminate them. And that's what he's pointing out here. And so we'll just finish off that. The last thing I'm going to finish up with, uh, with is this one minute, four second video. And you know that I'm calling for an end to sanctions in Syria, and I'm sure that all 23 people that watch <laughs> watch my videos <laughs> probably hate Syria and want everybody there to die. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I want them to live. Uh, um, but anyway, I thought this this was a good video to just express my sentiments on what's happening in Syria. And like I said, I hope that video that I showed is flying in aid to Syria. So. Now, as we go through this, I want you to understand the propaganda value. Um, you know, basically Russia is showing that the West has no values. We have no humanitarian uh, thoughts in our minds. I mean, we are willing to sacrifice the people of Syria. Uh, for what? Somebody explain this to me. Why can't we lift the sanctions and help these people that have died by the thousands? By the way, listen to that thunder. That's pretty cool. I, I tell you what, I've missed the thunderstorms here in Florida. And I, Why do you think I love Florida so much? It's during the summer, we do get some good thunderstorms. All right, let's keep going. All right, so that's it. Uh, well, well, I won't go into any more videos here. I'll probably violate some YouTube uh, restriction. So that's it for this video. I uh, just thought I'd post one more as I was going around Russian TV. Uh, so I just wanted to make a plea once again. At least the Russians are delivering, uh, I think, uh, humanitarian aid to Syria. At least that's what I'm showing on that two, two minute, 30 second video. So peace out, stay free. And good, good, good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.